This video is proudly brought to you by Hovertech. Hovertech. Just a button away. In this video tutorial, I'll be explaining how to fix the unknown baseband and null IMEI on your Spectrum phone. Now, whenever you encounter the unknown baseband, what you basically need to do is to flash the pack file using reset download tool back to the phone. Now, you need to flash the pack file for the exact phone model and nothing else. After you flash back the pack file, you should get your baseband back. Now, to locate your baseband, you go to your settings you go to about and this is the baseband highlighted here so after you flash the pack file you should have your baseband again it should no longer read unknown now after you have your baseband what you might still have is your null IMEI so if you go to your status for example in my case I have my IMEI so here if you if you check your IMEI okay the faster method to check the IMEI is to just dial star hash sorry star hash zero six hash now this shows the IMEI so in the case where you have a null IMEI this guy will basically be showing you how to fix that now the first thing you want to do is to ensure your phone is rooted so that is what my king user is yours might be super user yours might be any variant of the super user application then you want to be sure that your phone is rooted using your root checker so i just verify root all right so this confirms that my phone is rooted now after you are sure your phone is rooted what you'd want to do is to install this apk named shortcut master so after installing it you launch it now at this point you just press the menu button at the top at the top right corner there yes then you select secret code explorer now you are going to give it some time for this to load you just be patient a few seconds and you should see <coughs> excuse me you should see a loading bar yes this is the loading bar <coughs> or the loading prompt rather all right so at this point i should be having a list of applications okay i think i interrupted the loading I just select all apps and let it reload okay so after the whole loading process i should have a list of applications as you can see in the background i'll just wait for the loading prompt to finish okay after that what you'd want to do is to scroll down to your engineer mode the engineer mode here is 83781 so you just want to click you want to tap it then you tap launch one that's the one with the blue icon alone launch one now at this point you go to the telephony tab you are already there so you simply scroll down to set IMEI then you select set IMEI now at this point what you should have if you have a if you have a null IMEI you just empty an empty space here where my IMEI is written so what you'd want to do is to insert the IMEI you wish to change and then you click set IMEI so if for example I want to change IMEI 1 let's say I just change the last digit to 6 just to confirm if this works so it was initially seven i've changed the last digit to six so i just click set imei and then it gives me this prompt to confirm if i want to go ahead with setting imei i click 
I select OK. So the phone is going to reboot. And once it boots up again, I'm going to go check my IMEI to be sure it was correctly written. standing by for okay i think i'll just go with this size that is visible enough so i'm not waiting for my phone to boot up again and then i go confirm that my imei write was successful there's also another method you can use using the imei write tool but that will be in the next guide Seems like my phone is taking quite some time to boot up. Okay, my phone is up. Now the first thing I would want to do is to go check my IMEI to confirm that right was the right was successful. Okay, so let me just check my IMEI from here. Star hash zero six hash. All right, I initially had a seven and I switched it to six, and six is reflecting here. So basically, that's how to fix a non IMEI on a Spectrum phone.